Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Gruton and today we are playing Timberborn. Uh, I think this is episode number seven and so today I want to um, tackle a few things. I think we need to make sure we unlock the larger power wheel, um, unlock the smelter and start moving some beavers over to the other district as well as uh, making sure we have enough food for everybody. So uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and get that started. Um, so my plan is I'm going to end up destroying these uh, compact water wheels. And that's just because the larger ones can generate a lot more power. Um, we're just going to need to wait for enough science to unlock or to before we can unlock it. And also we have a drought coming in, but that's that's fine um so we gotta make sure we probably want to lift this up and let this fill in um let's make sure we get our path here nice so now that the beavers can run up here and put in a, a dam over there um the goal the point of that is so that we can kind of limit the height of this the, these floodgates and that there will still be water that goes over here. It's just the water won't go there until, you know, we have a higher water level. Um, so you can see like at this point, it's all going down there because it's already at that height. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just let that run, fill that in. All right. So there the drought has started. So we can see that that's going along. Um, we do need to get a power wheel in pretty quickly. What I'm thinking is we'll put it over here. And then I prioritize it uh, so that we can generate, so that we can generate some blanks because currently we have no power. So uh, we're not gonna be able to generate anything, um, which is obviously not, not good, not good at all. Um, we have plenty of wood. Yeah, so now it's just gonna kind of wait on that. Um, our drought is eight days, so this is now officially our longest drought. Um, oh boy, there's no water over here. That's a bummer. Um, also, if you can hear any noise in the background, that's my dog. He's eating a, a bully stick, so forgive him if there's any noise. Not like it's his fault. Uh, He's enjoying his little snack, so. Um, what I'm trying to figure out now is where, I don't know why I did this, um, but I did, so I don't wanna delete it, but I need to create some sort of levee system, probably floodgate system here, I guess. What I'll do is I'm gonna put le uh, levee here, or no, there, sorry. Put that there, put that there, and then we'll let that run. And then after that, we'll put in our floodgates and put another uh, levee there. Okay, so that's gonna run. That's gonna take a while because we don't have any planks. Um, what's going on here? Oh, we don't have planks. Going back on all that, we're gonna go ahead and um, get a power wheel there and then go ahead and get the power shaft stuff um, install or built. Since those don't require planks, that should be fine. Uh, we shouldn't have any problems. Yep, cool. All right, let's now go ahead and get that and this. Great, so that'll, once the day starts, we'll get something going on there. However, what we can do is build in some platforms there, possibly. And I mean, think about this. If we're gonna put power over here, we might wanna go higher. And I unlock, or I downloaded the, um, the vertical power mod, um, which allows us to not have to use the high power shafts. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier to get power up and down. 
we don't have to kind of do one at a time, one level at a time, we can go straight up. I wanna make some levees. I can't do it there because it's gonna block all the water. But I can do this. YOLO, sorry. And then, so if I do this here, hopefully that doesn't cause any problems. How's this looking? Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it now. I need to focus on um, what our districts are gonna distribute to each other. So this side, which is Cobb Salad, the district of Cobb Salad, how beautiful. Um, I'm gonna turn off importing for all, but then we're going to want kohlrabis always get more wood and water we need planks where are the planks 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 right there okay so we'll need those all right so that's that does this up there planks kohlrabis water okay and i'm gonna drop this uh, four is fine Drop this side down to one, and then uh, unpause that. And our next steps are to transfer some of this population from Caesar's Palace over to Cobb Salad. So, the name is so ridiculous. All right, so they're headed over to their new home and they'll be able to build their house over there. And everything should be all good. What is our food looking like? Do we have all, we have a lot of kohlrabis. We have some fermented soybeans, fermented cassavas, lots of blueberries. I th think we barely have any water. Um. I think what we should do is build a dam over here. Now it's not as good as a floodgate, but it'll at least allow us to have some extra water. Um, but to do that, I'm gonna need levees. So I'm gonna build some levees there. Levies there and here and then here as well and there and then we'll put want floodgates. If we do floodgates, we can always control it if we need to. If we put dams, don't necessarily have any control. I'm gonna put dams. That should be fine. Um, get a path over here. Oh yeah, we have this right here, I forgot. Actually, we can just put a staircase here. And then I'm going to destroy this pathway. And then I prioritize this staircase. Okay, so let's slow things down. How's this looking over here? Nice, so they have a house. Um, they have, oh, they don't have planks, which of course they don't, because we don't have any planks. So we have two of these, so I'm gonna pause, or unpause this one, so we can make more planks. Not gonna be as efficient, but that's okay. Um, how are we doing with water? Everything's still full. We have plenty of water. We have plenty of logs, a lot of food. So that's great to see. Um, I'm thinking we do have quite a bit of kohlrabi. So I think we're okay on that front. However, 
I we have only three cassavas. Uh, maybe we can add some more cassavas, cassava plants or seeds over here and down to there. And then I'm gonna put more kohlrabis there. And I'm doing that just so that we have more food growing. Um, I'd rather not run into a food shortage because no, thanks. Don't really enjoy that very much. Um, so this will be a nice little water catch over here so we can have more food if we want to over here. Um, and it does also allow for us to probably hopefully not run out of water and kind of keep things green for a bit longer. Um, like these kohlrabis are technically kind of dehydrated, which I'm surprised they're not like dying at this point. They look like they should be. I don't need water. Water's for quitters. We have two days left on this drought. Yeah, so I'm gonna let this play out and we'll see what happens by the end of the drought. So as you can see, we kind of ran out of water here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and since the drought is basically over, uh, I'm just gonna drop the floodgates down there and get the water to flow again. Um, because that is probably the best thing to do at this point. Uh, otherwise, you know, bad things will very quickly start to happen. Um, as we can see here, the drought just ended. So, the water starts to flow and everything turns back to green, which, yay, we did it. All right, so I'm gonna turn this up to one and a half, well, two, let's see what, how high it goes. Nice. Okay, so that's kind of the steady pace and this is what it'll look like. It's not the best flow of water. I think we'll leave it at one. Oh, Jesus. Let's take that up to three. Oh, I forgot to lower all these. Um, we need to get that down to nothing. Nice, just flooded the entire, <laughs> the entire colony. No, how? How did these soybeans die? God, for like three seconds. Rest in pieces. That's a bummer. Okay, so my other thing is I did not like how this worked. So what I'm gonna do is instead of dams, I, what I'm first gonna put in is the double floodgates, or sorry, like the single floodgates. Um, right there. These aren't paused, right? Oh, oh no, okay, I see the problem. All right, well, we're kind of holding off on that. Um, unpause all of this, we can pause these, turn all this back on. Um, fortunately, we do have five uh, open jobs, but we got five beavers growing. Uh, we just need a lot more planks. And I think what that means is, we're gonna have to start organizing our power situation a little bit better. What I want to do is get a smelter here or somewhere around here. But what I think I might be a, like a, honestly just a much more elegant solution 
or not solution, but plan will be to to um, take the power vertically and then we will build this and then um, get some more pathways and I, I will put some of the power or some of the, the production stuff over here um, instead and using the paths or the, uh, the platforms we can move the power along and what I'm going to do is put a T here get another pathway I think a T is fine um, and then let me see I want some more of the industrial lumber mills we need a lot more planks so I think two should be fine and then let's get things rolling um, we'll get a smelter at least one smelter for now. And what that means is we will need to build some storage for our smelter. Um, and for the final goodies here and then there, and then we get that and then that, and then we'll get the metal and we'll put that there. Um, and then you get a pathway to there. What I'm thinking as well is we will put some decorational stuff over here, shrub there, and maybe there. Uh, over here, since they're not really doing anything, um, let's get a campfire over, um, over here. And then we also will need the basics, so like a tooth grindstone or teeth grindstone. Uh, medical bed. Oh yeah, I want levees over here. So at least up to this one. So that's that should be good. And what they will need is a staircase there and there and there. And that not necessarily the best, but it should be fine. Yeah, that works. Okay. So that'll start there. Um, so that's how we're looking. Unlock the smelter, we unlocked, we did not unlock the power wheel because we're not gonna do that, the large one. We moved our district, we created more food. And we started to create some walls around the power or the, um, the water wheel over here. So that's looking good. Also, I think it might be a good idea to build another builder's hut because kind of slow moving when it comes to things that are being built although we probably do need more breeding pods as well so let me add a couple more let me see how we're looking so we've got everything kind of functioning over here uh slowly everything's coming along um i think we're gonna wrap today's episode up here um episode number seven we've kind of got everything we wanted to do pretty much the next episode will start to we need to start thinking about more power solutions um and hopefully getting the smelter and metal started um so that we can get our get our motor or our engine um and then i'm hopefully going to unlock the i think the next episode i will unlock the uh the bigger water wheel because at this point, that's not another um, another option in the very, very near future, but ah, no need to worry about that for now. We can worry about that later. Anyways, thank you for watching and uh, have a great rest of your whatever day, night, morning, evening, whatever it might be. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Grouton and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.